Hi, my name is Bill Parker, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the seat switch on your ride and lawnmower. One of the reasons why we want to replace it, as opposed to just disabling it or jumping the switch, is because it's, it's there for a purpose. It's designed should you be on an incline or a hill and the mower blades are going, and you were to roll over or flip the mower over, it's designed to shut off completely. You'll read every single day of people getting hurt, people getting killed, just because they jumped the switch or they disabled the seat switch. And it's so easy to replace it. It's only a matter of two screws. You take them off, disconnect the wire, and take the switch out. And all it is is a plunger switch with contacts. You go to your local lawn and garden dealership, buy a new switch, reinstall it, hook it back up the exact same way, put it back on, and now you know that you're going to be safe every time you get on that lawnmower and you're never going to have a problem with losing a leg or an arm or even a life. And that's all there is to it. To replace the switch, it's so simple. All you have to do is hook your connection back up and you're good to go.